This problem gives us a scenario in which a company produces CDs. They have a variable cost of $7 per CD, which means that that cost can change um, based on how many items are produced, in this case, the CD. And then fixed costs of $45,000, which means no matter what, however many CDs they produce, they're going to spend $45,000. So that's probably inventory costs, uh, employee costs, building costs, stuff like that. Uh, they will sell the CDs for $98 each, very specialized CDs, I guess, and uh, they tell us to let X be the number of CDs produced. Okay, so this is a four-part question. The first part asks us to create a cost formula. They call the cost formula C, and in this case, there's really two pieces that make up the cost. That's the cost per CD of producing, that $7, which I didn't circle very well, and the fixed cost, which is the $45,000. So, using those two pieces of information then, the cost is going to equal $7 per CD. Since X is the number of CDs produced, we're going to say 7X, plus an additional $45,000 that we're going to spend no matter what. So the 7 is dependent on how many CDs we produce, but the $45,000 we're always going to spend. So this is our cost equation right here. So that's the answer to the first part of the question. The second part asks us to find the revenue. So revenue is how much money they bring in, period. It's not their profit, big difference. It's just how much money they're gonna bring in. And in this case, since they're selling the CDs for $98 each, that is referring to the revenue. We're gonna bring in $98 per CD sold. So. The revenue, which they called R, is going to equal $98 times X, again, because that's how many CDs we're talking about selling. Okay? Now, profit, which is different than revenue. Profit is how much money we actually make once we take in that amount we get per CD and subtract out all of our costs. So, I just highlighted how we're going to find the profit. You take uh, revenue and minus the cost. And whatever's left over is how much profit you make, okay? And if there's nothing left over, you make no profit, or if you have a negative amount left over, that means you're in the hole. You're, you're spending more money than you're making. So in this case then, revenue minus cost is gonna be 98X minus, and then we'll put parentheses, 7X plus 45,000. So we're gonna have to actually distribute the negative, Oops, 98x minus 7x. Oh, sorry. Let me get my eraser. Um, and then minus 45,000. Okay. So then combining the 98 and the 7x is going to give us 91x minus 45,000. That is the profit P. Okay. Now, part D asks us to find the break-even point. There's actually two ways to do that. The break-even point means that your cost and your revenue are equal. So one way is to literally set the cost and revenue equal to each other. These two equations that we have up here for cost and revenue, we could just set those two equations equal to each other. There's another way, and that's using the profit equation. In other words, meaning that you break even, that your revenue costs are equal, also means you're making no profit. You're also not losing any money. So another way we could do it is to set the profit equation equal to zero and solve for that. So 91x equals 45,000, and then you get an answer for x. I'm going to go ahead and let you finish from here.